Tools used. Pry bar. Three eighth drive ratchet. 16 mil spanner. 15 mil spanner. 13 mil spanner. 10 mil spanner. Stubby 10 mil spanner. 10 mil ratchet spanner. 13 mil 3 8 socket. 10 mil 3 8 socket. Exhaust rubber tool. Silicon spray. So the first thing you're going to want to do is disconnect the downpipe O2 sensor. If you locate that engine lifting eye, it's actually a bracket and it comes along like this and the connector will be mounted on there. So to disconnect it, you literally just have to lift this gray tang up. So you lift this up like that and it'll eject the sensor, unplug it like that. There's also going to be another clip here which goes on the steel coolant rail. So just pop that off and just let the wiring just hang. Next thing that you want to do is on the exhaust manifold and turbo heat shield, there's a single 10 mil bolt that goes down onto the downpipe. You can either squeeze your arms in through here, take the trim off and then use a socket. Or what I tend to do is I do it from underneath where I just put a spanner on and I just do it by feel and just fully remove that 10 mil bolt. Now you need to remove these three 10 mil bolts. Now there's normally a drive shaft here and a boost pipe here. They've been removed purely so that you can see this better. You can take them out and it will give you a little bit more space to work with. I tend to leave them in most of the time. Now the hardest one to get to because when there's a drive shaft in the way is actually this one up here because whilst you can get in there you can't swing very easily with a drive shaft. So if you've left the drive shaft in, there is a trick to doing it. So what I tend to do is get a stubby 10 mil, it's gotta be good quality 10 mil, put it on there and then fuse a long lever bar and just get it in there. You have gotta use one hand to keep that spanner on and then you can just crack it off. That one wasn't actually very tight, so it wasn't too bad, but sometimes you gotta do that a couple of times. So now just pull these three tens out. This vehicle's already got a three inch aftermarket cap back system on it. Normally there would just be two 15 mil nuts here and the studs here on the factory exhaust. So remove both of those. Remove this cross brace, but before you remove the bolt, the CAT O2 sensor wiring is clipped in here. So you can either just lift it up or just take a screwdriver, push it up, so that wiring's out of the way, and now remove the bolts. Either push the rubber off the exhaust or just remove this 13. You want to disconnect the CAT O2 sensor, so it's just clipped into a little mount on the sway bar, you just lift it up like that and then you pull this lever out. Now, you should be able to just pull these and it unclips. Sometimes they're a little bit stiff so there's a little tiny slot there. Just take a flat blade, pop it in the slot and that'll get it started and then as you pull this out it'll eject the sensor. Spray the exhaust rubbers with a bit of silicon spray then pop them off the down part. You can use a tool like this, or you can just manually push them out. Now you can remove the down part and cap all as one unit. Take your O2 sensor socket. Just gonna pull that shoe on back so you can slip the socket on. Then you wanna crack these off. And once you get your first turn, just go back and forth a little bit, it'll break off any rust. Same on the second one. When you get brand new row 2 sensors, they come with some anti seize on the threads. If you've got some, just pop a little bit on so it makes it easy to remove next time. 
You can just knit these back up with a spanner. Give the turbo flange a quick hit with a wire brush, just on the outer edges. Factory downpipes have a recess and they have this gasket in them. So they've got this recess here. If your downpipe has one of these recesses, you need to fit a genuine Ford replacement gasket. If you've got one of our downpipes, I deliberately have the flanges made with no recess. So I rely purely on some sealant on that. So I use this brand in the workshop, three bond, number two red. It doesn't really matter what brand you use so long as you're using some high temp RTV sealant and you've got to check the pack, check that it's sensor safe. That basically means if you have any excess sealant and it goes on one of the O2 sensors, it's not going to kill it. So it's okay. So if you look at the turbo flange, there's a raised lip here. All right, you just want to put a very thin bead, a couple of mil wide, all the way around on the outside of that ring. Take your locking fasteners and just put a bit of copper anti-seize on the threads. Put some more silicon spray on the rubbers. And now you're gonna feed the downpipe up over the subframe. You've got it round about where you want it to go. You can pop the rubbers in. Now you can offer the flange up to the turbo, place it on it and spin in those locking fasteners by hand. Fully tighten your 13 mil bolts. Pick your teardrops, your locking fasteners, making sure that they are of the orientation so that they stop against the downpipe to try and undo. Nothing circlet. Give this face just a bit of a clean up. If you've got a gasket, obviously use a gasket. This gasket has definitely seen better days, so I'm just not gonna use it at all. And I'm just gonna use some sealant. Do the same on the downpipe two bolt flange. Off your cap pipe up to the downpipe and put the two bolts and nuts through at this end. Now, these are grip nuts, so they've got teeth on them, so you're really just gonna have a spanner holding that grip nut just to start, and then you can go ham. So you wanna be turning the bolt rather than turning the nut. If you're fitting one of our damn pipes and cats, to a factory cap back, the bolt holes are slotted. So it will fit any aftermarket cap back or the factory one. So if you're fitting it to a, a factory cap back, you will have a stud here and a here. You just line them up and put your 215 mil nuts on. Obviously if it's aftermarket, there's just holes. So you just use the nuts and bolts. If you find when trying to reconnect the Cat O2 sensor back to there, if you find that the wiring is too short, if you just follow this, you can see there's a little, little mount there. If you pull the wiring out of that mount, you could probably pull another two inches and that'll just give you the extra slack. Refit that cross brace bar. Now just plug your downpipe O2 sensor back in. So just pu push it on, it'll link up, push it all the way and push down that gray lock tab and that's locked in. Start the car, let it get to operating temp, check it for any exhaust leaks, go for a drive, check you got no knocks and bangs and you're done.